You're watching the Final Fantasy Entertainment and Podcast Network Final Fan TV. And here are seven regular Final Fantasy VII enemies that I believe deserve the Hell House treatment in the next installment of Remake. Now, I'm not mentioning any enemies that just wouldn't make sense to appear in the next installment. Uh, the, I predicted, and I'm very generous in this prediction, I believe the ending of Part 2 will go into about the Forgotten City. So, don't expect awesome enemies such as the Ghost Ship to appear in this list, even though the Ghost Ship is freaking awesome. Uh, that would be more of a Part 3 thing, or beyond, I'm thinking. Anyways, number one, the Midgar Zalem. Let's just go ahead and get that one out of the way. We all know it. It's going to be amazing. It's, it's, it's just such a pivotal part of Final Fantasy VII that we know it's going to have this huge set piece. But I can't talk about it here. Final Fan TV's Friar of the Fighter has prepared a full theory video of why this fight is going to be amazing, why this sequence of events is going to be amazing, from horror elements to cinematic mad dashes on the backs of chocobos as a giant snake chases you. Definitely check out that video. Number two, dragons. Dragons reoccurring throughout Remake. At the opening of Final Fantasy VII Remake 2, I'm... Assuming we get the flashback in Calm, a cinematic boss fight fighting the green dragon alongside a very powerful and heroic Sephiroth would be an epic way to start the game. But that is also meant to be an easy win as Seph cuts it down with just two strikes, right? We also encounter the red dragon at the Temple of Ancients as a boss fight, so I can't really consider that on this list either. But, in the original, we do randomly encounter a dragon in Mount Nebel. This would be a great set piece mini boss to appear about halfway through that chapter before the dreaded Materia Keeper. The dragon also reoccurs in the battle square at the Gold Saucer, but what if that's a dragon rider? Which would make sense as we would need somebody to be able to train these dragons when we're in this amusement park, right? Now in the original, we do not really see the Dragon Rider until the Whirlwind Maze. So if they do go that route, we're gonna need an explanation, lore-wise, because who the heck are the Dragon Riders? That sounds pretty important. <laughs> but if not, if it was just something cool that they thought of back in the day, hey, that's cool too. Throw it in the Gold Saucer Battle Square. One of the Gold Saucer employees is a trainer. Uh, for the battle square. Number three, Ho Chu. This makes sense as a Hell House style spectacle, not just because of the Fiend's uh, history in the Final Fantasy franchise, but also because it was only encountered in the battle square at the Gold Saucer. Number four. Number five, the heavy tank. If the Gungaga chapter needs a proper boss fight, this is it. In the original, the party does have a run-in with Reno and Rude, but maybe in Remake, the Turks leave a little parting gift for the party, and that is the heavy tank. And maybe, possibly, if they don't go that route, maybe the heavy tank is guarding the Titan material, which is also found in the ruined reactor of Gungaga. Number six, the bull motor. Fault in the Coral Prison in the original, this was a, just a high level enemy, but I could see Remake turning this into a more formidable foe. Number 7, the Giro Felgo, found in the Shinra Mansion. These half human, half giant blade enemies swing from a chain. Due to this environmental usage, I think it would be pretty cool to confront the two Giro Felgo as soon as the party enters the mansion. They drop down from the ceiling like two killer chandeliers and the battle would just be so intense as they would be swinging back and forth this giant room. You Maybe you have to run up the stairs and, and attack the chain and, and you knock them down from the chain or, or you're avoiding the sweeping attacks down low. It would be awesome. I'm not a game designer, but uh, that'd be pretty sweet, right? Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm wearing the same shirt because I filmed this all at once to release them in a slow weekly trickle of content yep. anyways that's it that should be enough time to click these videos subscribe if you haven't already 
please do it. It'd be great.